We're here today with Michele Appendino, the chairman of Solar Ventures. Michele, thank you very much for being with us. And if you could tell us a little bit about your background to fill in the blanks. So you have an interesting uh, background yeah. of both entrepreneur and financier. Well, very shortly, I uh, graduated from uh, engineering school in Turin. Then I went straight to consulting, strategy consulting, McKinsey and Company. And I went to business school in INSEAD in Fontainebleau. I always wanted to do something entrepreneurial. Uh, when I finished my in MBA was 1992, was the first uh, Gulf War. So the world of entrepreneurship and development was not really at, at its uh, peak. So I went back to consulting. I did another four years, uh, which was very useful to see many. Se I worked in like all possible sectors and in five different countries, Europe and the US. And I actually started a media practice in Italy. And through that, I became acquainted with the inter internet uh, very early on compared to most uh, Europeans and Italians. So at the end of 1996, early 97, with a colleague, uh, Fausto Boni, I had a bit of a crazy idea in retrospective uh, to be the first ones to uh, basically uh, start a seed fund uh, to uh, invest uh, in internet startups in Europe. Uh, the name was Net Partners and was founded actually in France, in Paris. Uh, it was very, very difficult to set up uh, because actually we were 31 years old, no investment experience. And in retrospective, investors don't like that too much, but it was actually quite successful. We funded eight ventures, of which some very well known ones like Self Trade in France, QXL in the UK, eDreams in Spain and Italy. They were all either sold or floated uh, before the, let's say, still in the, in the good times in the before the year 2000. And then we raised uh, two other funds uh, still with the same focus. Uh, the last one of which uh, ended its investment period in uh, 2005. It was actually uh, quite successful too. We had uh, listed companies there, uh, such as Muti Online in Italy, another one coming up in the next, uh, next month, which is called Ux. But in 2005, after raising three funds uh, uh, of venture capital, so basically investing in other people's ideas as a minority shareholder, I decided I wanted to do something more of a control uh, entrepreneurship, where I was basically more in the driving seat. So I, I started uh, my own investment vehicle, which is AME Ventures, uh, to do small seed investments uh, with the idea of finding one that could become my own venture. And quite quickly, I, I discovered the solar sector, which uh, has always been my passion, but I was never able to find the business model. It was a bit too early. And in late 2005, early 2006, I, I actually started this company uh, as a majority shareholder. Uh, the first year was more an experiment because the, the business was still uh, in its infancy. We did a few plans as a, as, a, as a first trial. And then in 2007, it became a, a more, uh, you know, we came clear it was a growth story, not only in Italy, but uh, worldwide. So I, I devoted uh, more time to the business. It is now really my uh, main uh, uh, way of uh, occupying my time. I still look after the other ventures, but I'm really the CEO of this company besides being the controlling shareholder. So I do have, in fact, uh, all the three hats uh, uh, of uh, VC, uh, business angel, and uh, you know, shareholder entrepreneur. So let's begin by underlining the business angel and VC component. Sure. Uh, you mentioned you began some in a very exciting but what became a, a somewhat difficult time with the, the internet startups. Uh, let's just, if you could give us a walkthrough of maybe a successful venture, either from the internet side or, sure. or another one, 